Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. Today we are just going to go through a quick rundown of the Bash vulnerability CVE 2014-6271, also known as Shellshock, and just show you what Land Guardian can detect. Uh, so here we have curl. We are going to use the user agent string. We have our Bash vulnerability in here. And then we are setting up a reverse connect over here and this is our target now these machines are running in the background this is not being done in a live production environment or anything just to show you here is my test environment here and here is my LAN guardian here do not perform this on any network that you are not authorized to okay so down here we just set netcat let it listen on port 444 up here we are going to run this command which will do that now as you can see down here we say we can now see connection so if I'm to type in here I config and just go up there a little bit you can see we are now on that other machine that I showed you out here let's go back just confirm so you can see 192.168.56.103 fantastic and now if I was to show you a little bit more if I do an ls in here we'll just make this screen a little bit bigger we can see these files that are actually created down here and if we go back to our other machine okay so if we go to cd user lib cgi bin and we do an ls you can see we have exactly the same files so we are on the other the other system now if we go back into land guardian and we click on reports, we click by signature, we click view. Now we can see there are two attempts here. I did make another attempt earlier. We have the option to break down by source IP or destination IP over here. If you click on total, you can see once again, here is my earlier attempt and here is my current attempt. And if we drill down a little bit here underneath the more links, we also have the option to show more detail about the source IP or show more detail about the destination IP. Now, if we click on view packet data, we are now seeing the signature which was used in order to detect what we have just done on, the, on our little host only network. And here you can see the source. Now, if we go back here and if we type ifconfig, just to see, now here is my MAC address. This is the MAC address here of the source. So uh, absolutely brilliant. And then we've got our destination, which is also correct over here for the other other machine, the machine that was attacked. Now we also have IP header information, TCP header information, and raw packet. Now I love the raw packet because down here you can see exactly what has been going on underneath the ASCII and also underneath with the hex. You can see what has been carried out and download it, try it out yourselves, see what you think. You can get a free trial on our website. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Check out the blog for more details. We also have a forum. Thank you. Bye.